Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna have a guide on how to maximize your damage from uh, lower levels. I'm gonna go step by step with it and uh, I'm doing this just because the game got an update and the update is like allowing you to reset your uh, skill tree more often just because they lower the, the amount of, uh, of enigmas you need. Okay, so in the beginning you are presented with two options. Yeah, you have like the fast attacks and the strong attacks. Uh, fast attacks are interesting, but this is the downfall of this build, you know, the triple strike. Uh, it's not a bad skill. It's just 260% of your a attack damage. And even if you unlock this one, this will uh, allow you to get like a 10% bleed chance on your fast attacks but the damage output by blade is like shit uh, and the enemies will die before this bleed can can do some damage you know what i mean uh, and beside this this is traversing into a skill which is very i don't know i i really don't like it on paper sounds great but when you try to execute it it's just shit you know um it's ap hungry even though you're pressing the normal click and you are charging up and you're gonna perform attacks, the enemies can't hit you. But this is not outputting a lot of damage and because uh, this skill is extremely AP hungry, you won't really use it. I, I use it a bit. I realized extremely fast it's a waste, so stay away from it. Uh, the game is telling you to, to go for Vortex and Vortex is by far the best skill and as soon as you invest it into this uh, jump onto special skills I definitely recommend you getting dodge concentrated counter attack uh, this, will, this will help you a lot uh, uh, you're gonna have the parry and you're gonna have the dodge now as well so you can perform a concentrated counter attack even when you are dodging and I find out that I was using dodges more than I was using parries and uh, it's easier to register a dodge than a parry at least in the beginning so that's why my go for was this one and beside this you have like 700 attack which is like great as soon as you unlock that one I definitely recommend you to go for Charge Strike. Let me show you why. Charge Strike is staggering your enemy, yeah? so beside this you can chain it up with Vortex, because basically you're gonna do this, your enemy will be staggered, and after that you can perform a Vortex, and the amounts of damage you are like outputting, it's, it's just inc insane, you know what I mean? Let's see. You have 250 from this one, you have Vertical Slash 160, and you have the Vortex 460, so you... You have around 850 plus, yeah, to say so. Um, as soon as you unlocked that one, I definitely recommend you to go for charge concentrated counter attack. Uh, because now you have basically dodges, charged attacks which are getting you into concentrated counter attack animation and you have parries as well. And uh, as soon as you are doing this, I definitely recommend you upgrading your max CP. Max CP uh, are the bars, the purple bars which you see in the middle of the screen above the sword and the gun. So unlocking them from early levels, you're gonna be able to perform even more concentrated counter attacks. You know what I mean? And because the damage they are doing is like 700 percent of your attack damage that that will shred through bosses and most of the enemies you know let's move on now you have two options you can either um, go into agility and try to get the dodge you know dodge and charge uh, concentration because this will help you with both the dodge and charge attack and uh, you can go even further on because now he will perform an attack as soon as you are perfect dodging or uh, charging and this will become 
like extremely it's, it's not a, a huge amount of damage but it's extra damage so why not uh, after that I definitely recommend you going for uh, the vortex upgrades this will increase the damage from 160 to 180 this will make the vortex you won't be interrupted while you are like performing the vortex uh, this is adding another attack on the end of the vortex. The only thing with this is consuming one devil factor. And in the beginning you won't have a lot of devil factors. So consider investing into it but keep in mind that maxing out your CP may be more important than, than, uh, than that one. Because having 6 CP bars uh, it's allowing you to perform better, you know, and I recommend you to don't don't upgrade these ones because now activating it will consume 2 CP instead of 1 and the damage output is 1000 instead of seven, uh, 700 so it's not doubled, you know what I mean and even if you get onto this one this will make your attacks to generate the CP it's good, but imagine how many points you need to invest. So you're gonna lose one, two, three devil points, devil factors. Because to get onto this, you'll need to go both sides, both sides again, and after that you'll be able to. Maybe this is a a late skill, late investment, you know. So now we have this. This this it's perfect, you know, for the time being. You have this upgraded, which is like now the vortex is out, putting the maximum amount of damage. Uh, at this point, for sure, you already defeated Li Chong first time, so you're gonna have the chasing grasp. This will cause another stagger, and uh, this will do a perfect momentum to say so. As soon as you grab onto an enemy, you're gonna be immune to damage, you know, he can't damage you anymore. Uh, so this can be extremely interesting even in boss fights, but you're gonna waste two devil factors on this So I added them just because I have two devil factors. I don't recommend you doing it uh, Your priorities will be increasing your CP and uh, Getting the sword key as well uh, But because we have the the chasing grasp we can consider investing into falling slash just because you're gonna end up in mid-air after a grasp you you can add this you know if you have enough points go for earth crasher just because he's adding more damage and is looking way better than than the normal one i don't recommend you upgrading it just because it consumes 2 ap yeah and you'll need another devil factor to upgrade this and i guess this will make you immune but you don't really need them to, you know what I mean? Because this is 200% per, uh, attack, same as Crasher, so you'll be fine with this for the time being. Let's go into physical abilities. In the beginning, I definitely recommend you going for HP as much as you can. Because you're gonna have them... This is how your build will look in the beginning. You can go even further on with attack because uh, extra battery as soon as you defeat the first boss you're gonna get a weapon the wanderer uh, basically what is this doing it's adding more bullets one more bullet to your weapon so if you want one more bullet to your weapon yeah you can invest into it but i think at this point you will already have this one unlocked so just go for more hp because hp on boss fights is extremely important and the flasks here you'll be able to upgrade them like later on not not in the beginning even now after i don't know how many hours of gameplay i have like three four hours i'm like still upgrading i upgraded the flask just one time each you know what i mean so i increase it to four and uh, now my heals are like 70 instead of 60. Uh, i definitely recommend you again uh, explore as much as you can on a map 
before you, adv you, you progress, you know. You're gonna find some uh, corrupted areas. And the corrupted areas are unlocking you these vases, you know. And these vases contains like more skills and more builds, you know. Look, this one's seven. This one is four, four. I don't know what this one is, but this one has four of them as well. So definitely exploration is a big factor. As soon as you unlocked them fully, I recommend you going for this one. Just because it's making your dodges and uh, charges easier to register. Because you become, you know, like, uh, this is a dodge charge mastery. So, dodges and charges become more precise and easier to register. Like I said, it's, it's a go for. This one, it's, I don't want to be harsh, but this is useless. From my point of view, at least, you know what I mean? If it consumes one extra AP... Why I'll need this. I don't want to do dodge backward. I want to dodge through him. So I'm going to get a perfect dodge. And I'll be able to use concentrated counterattack. That's why I think this is a waste. In a way. Maybe it's not. I'm going to test with, with this later on. And countering. Again. I'm not a big fan of it. Just because even if you counter. Perfect counter. You're just gonna push back the enemies, while if you are perfect dodge or charge, you're gonna do some damage to, to the enemy. You know what I mean? And right now your combos will look like charge. If you have an enemy, you know, you're gonna grab onto him and after from, from me there you can perform this. It will push him back. Um... I guess this was it. Like I said, I definitely recommend you exploring. Let me give you some tips on this map. On the western side, don't miss this area. Here you're gonna have a corrupted zone. And is in this corrupted zone you're gonna unlock this. Don't miss it out. I still don't know how to get up here. Maybe if some of you managed to make this jump, please let me know. But otherwise, it's fully explored. Here you have the Devil Sword. Somewhere here, I guess, yeah. Somewhere here is the Devil Sword, so don't miss it out because it's by far... Let me show it to you, so you're gonna understand why I'm saying it's by far one of the best swords. It has a base of 10% crit rate. So, focusing on heavies, because our build, as you saw till now, we are like just doing right clicks, yeah? So we are like just heavy hitters. A crit rate, it's extremely important on this, and I'm trying to maximize the crit rate, and in the same time, I'm, I'm trying to find uh these vases as well because they will increase our crit damage by all of them will be like 50 percent because right now we have like a 10 bonus so uh, i guess this was it for the time being thanks again for your patience and uh like always i'll see you in the next one take care guys